What's up, Chatter Guy? It's your girl, Ebony. I'm back with another video, another message, another level of understanding, another word from the Most High God. And I want to welcome the Holy Spirit into your dwelling place, into your temple, as we elevate, as we shift the climate, as we go a little bit higher. Y'all know, a lot of bit higher with the most high God. How can we not? It is God. Like, listen, it's God. Okay, and so I welcome him in the forefront. Lord, I allow you to increase so that I may decrease in the mighty name of Jesus. I feel the overflow. I feel the overflow. But we're going here in Revelations. I was given a read like a measuring rod and ways told me go and measure the temple of God and the altar with its worshipers but exclude the outer court do not measure it because it has been given to the Gentiles they will trample on the holy city for 42 months and I will appoint my two witnesses and they will prophesy for 1260 days clothed in sackcloth all the Thank you, Jesus. There, they are the two olive trees and two lampstands. Mm -hmm. God is saying you about to walk right into it. <laughs> God is saying you're about to testify to the Holy One. He says you're about to walk right into what the enemy been putting in your mind and telling you something that was negative about, but it's going to end up being positive. He says, I, I'm i hearing him saying, uh, my God, a three-chord strand is not easily broken. Hear me now. Thank you, Lord. No matter what tries to come up and collide with you, you understand that you're going to walk directly into where God needs you to be. That very thing is going to land you directly into the spot where God has already met you with provision to let you understand that you've been here before and you're gonna be looking at it like I've been here before it feels like I, I, I the atmosphere I I remember it. but God is saying I'm the he that's in you that you're remembering because as I prepare the way as I have gone ahead of you as I have ordered your steps hear me now because you be children of God you have already overcame them because greater is he that is in me, in you in me you know that is in this world and so when the world starts to talk against what God has already given you inside on or wisdom on baby once God placed you in the exact alignment of where he needs you to be then my God the calendar just start being revealed the light just start being revealed the scroll my God that Jesus has just start being revealed and so once you get any reassurance from God my God it doesn't look like what the world validates understand that it doesn't look like instant gratification to build up your ego hear me now it starts to make every worry fall to the side it starts to make every hardship fall down it makes every trial fall down hear me now it looks like God's understanding because when you get under the bosom of God or you rest into the shelter of the most high of the almighty baby you start to my God have a, a, a comfortability a lot more a lot more different you hear me the Holy Spirit when you realize you with the one who created every single thing would you ever want to worry child you won't you gonna just let that thing fall down okay okay I'm hearing Nebuchadnezzar. I'm hearing the pride. You remember that time or that season in your life? Because, child, I remember that time in that season in my life where everything... <laughs> Hear me now. I was so busy trying to focus on what I was trying to get done with the world as they were watching me. As they were watching me build the empire that I thought I needed to build. Hear me now. I'm hearing the tower, tower of Babel. Hear me now. And so as I was watching them um, build, hear me now. Watch it, watch, as they were watching me build, it was building me up. Hear me now. And so as they began building me up, hear me now. I start to understand that my God. It was not only building me up on the physical front, but it started to make me tired. Hear me now. And so as that thing started to make me tired, hear me now. I started to need strength. Hear me now. And so as I started to need strength, hear me now. I started to call on my heavenly dwelling. Hear me now. And so I started to call on Jesus. Let me put him on the forefront. He says, don't go back. Go stay, stay going forward. Hear me now. Hear me now. He says, for he who is in Christ is a new creation and all things that old have passed away. And look, behold, all things are new. And so he says, listen, my sheep know my voice. I hear him say, <laughs> so much is given, much is required, okay? And so just like God appointed the two, my God, it's such a different thing that's happening right now. He says, if anyone tries to harm them, fire comes from their mouths and devours their enemies. Two. 
you better be careful who you coming up against in the season that God aligned or appointed somebody at the appointed hour to be a witness, to be an olive tree, to be a lap stand. Because when you got God as your lap, hear me now. And he says he put the lap on the lap stand, hear me now, so that it may shine on the hill, hear me now. And it will no longer be hidden, hear me now. So that very thing you're telling me, hear me now, that tried to come up against you to stop you from getting to where God has sent you, my God will be, my God devour. Hear me now, the enemy, hear me now, we're talking about a big fall. Hear me now, hear me now, okay? And so on this side of the fence where, where God has rebuilt, your girl built the nation. I know y'all, you know, you know, you know, you know that you know that one one. But when God has rebuilt you, no longer are you moving in a way where God is not on the forefront. No longer are you moving in a way where you hear me is build, building the outer exterior parts of your life. You're not long like you. You can do that. You can do that. But you starting from the inside. You feel me? You starting from scratch with God. And so as you realize that when you do it all lover. I want to tell y'all, when you do it all over with God, it don't look like the aesthetics building up your ego or building up your personality or your, hear me now, imprisonment falls down. The spirits that tries to come in, make you feel good and make everybody else see you um, in a way where everything looks good, but then on the inside, you at home and your soul is Hear me now, feeling downcast and you're still serve you're still trying to serve God. God said you can't serve two masters. You can't serve two masters. There are times where God will allow you to, you know, not saying that, listen, y'all, this is what I'm saying. We gotta use our wisdom too. We gotta use the wisdom of God that He gave us, right? Or insight to. Not saying that you can't be pretty or you can't be nice or have nice things or still build up. Build up on the outside, it won't be an empire for me. I'm going to tell y'all, it's just going to be kingdom living for me. It is going to be royalty for me. Whatever my inheritance, whatever's on his will, whatever it got, listen. Because you don't want to get to the point where you start to worry about a matter too much and then you go out and build things because you're trying to get around from getting in trouble with God. That's what the children of the Tower of Babel, that's what they did before their languages became confused and scattered. And they were still God people, but they were scattered. And so when you get scattered and you God's people, baby, you start doing stuff a little bit, a lot of bit, a little bit. Naive. And so then you start taking information from the outside. And then, my God, please forgive me. No judgment because I've been here. But um, you start to, when God is calling you near to draw near to him, instead you start to look for God through another person. Instead of realizing you got the same God. So what I'm saying is, you want to make sure that you stay ten toes down with God so you don't be on the outskirts when something go wrong and then you in a panic trying to find out where God is but you gotta get over in order to get to him you gotta trample over the the, 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 the the tower that you build or the identity that the outside world has given you through an image and so yes I'm, I'm seeing the old Jerusalem I'm seeing the old mindset but God is saying I gave Jesus I gave a brook and a valley to cross over to leave that behind but do you trust me my child enough to let go of what you have built with your own ways and your own hands and understand that I'm the creator the alpha the omega the beginning and the end that my son is able to my God gear you in Side and out, mm -hmm. and so yeah, I guess I wanted to say that I, 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 the, I ain't got no. Today has been a day, but I do have a peace that surpasses all understanding. But I do want to be humble about that because I don't want to shame nobody, and I don't want nobody to feel shame because God is the God of second chances, especially when you truly. Believe in God for real and believe in Jesus. Really, that's that's what you need to get to God. You know that, right? You know that. I, I love you. Be well. You know what? He is holy and he got what? Mercy. Bye.
John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, for whosoever believeth in him shall not perish, but have eternal life. Give your life to him.